Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny here. Talk a little MLB action here. Joined with Nick Earl, Earl Sports Bets, and Terry Edelman. Uh, Terry and Nick are going to talk two or four baseball games, I should say. They're each going to give you a side, and they're each going to give you a total for Saturday, September 14th. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe. Use the promo code below, L-E-N-N-Y 20. Saves you 20% off your entire purchase at Picks and Parlays. Dot net. Now, Nick Earl's up first. We're going to talk Marlins and the Nats. Nats are favored. Minus 150. There's something you don't hear every day. Anyways, uh, total is at eight and a half. Nick Earl, what are your thoughts on this uh, matchup? Not only are the Nationals favored in this game, Patrick Corbin is favored hey, yeah. in this game here. My boy! Uh, Patrick Corbin. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah. Uh, he's been better as of late this season. He's not been the auto fade that people think he is. And when I looked at this matchup, they have the pitching advantage. And the Marlins don't hit lefties. 69 WRC plus, which is 24th in baseball the last 30 days. And they have Valente Beloso going on the mound, who over the last 30 days has pitched to a 3.9 ERA and a 1.45 whip. But my numbers suggest that he is in for some negative regression here. 6.7 FIP, 6.41 Sierra. I'm on the Nationals minus one in this game. It's around even money, minus 105 in this spot. I look for them to take care of business in this game. Also, when we look at what the Nationals have done against the Marlins this season is basically win every game. Uh, they lost last night, and currently I believe it's 2-0 Nationals as we record here. But I believe they're eight and one this season against the Miami Marlins. I look for them to win again tomorrow and back my boy Patrick Corbin minus one for the Washington Nationals around even money minus one hundred and five. Stop saying your boy Patrick Corbin. I uh, backed him I'll so much. He's my boy. <laughs> I'll ride with you on the Nats minus one, but I cannot accept that kind of behavior, my boy Cat Patrick. I can't even get it out of my mouth. My boy, uh, all in for calling the wrong. worst pitcher in baseball for the last. He's not been the worst years. pitcher in Your baseball boy. though. He's not been over all the right, last four right. years. He has been. Boys, Dodgers, Braves, Braves minus one thirty totals at seven and a half. Terry Edelman's got a side for us in this matchup, and I guarantee you, he's not going to say his boy Patrick Corbin. Terry <laughs> Edelman, what are your thoughts? <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm going to back my boy, Jack Flaherty. 2.86 <laughs> ERA on the season here. This is going to be a great game. Jack Flaherty against Chris Sale. Both pitchers have been great recently. I looked at the first five under here in this game, and I was definitely leaning that way, and I still do lean that way. Uh, but the Dodgers, 3-0 and against Atlanta this year. This Atlanta Braves team is in trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. But... When you look at the guys uh, that they don't have, Ozzie Albies, Austin Riley, Ronald Acuna Jr., right. uh, those are three huge pieces to this Braves team. Uh, and we've just seen them not perform well uh, recently as well. Uh, so I'll take the Dodgers as a dog here uh, with Jack Flaherty on the mound uh, against the Braves. My boy, Jack Flaherty. That's my boy. I wish he was still a Tiger, but we'll take him, Dodgers. Nice price plus money here uh, against the struggling Braves team. Uh, Terry Edelman uh, is going to go up next with a total. But before that, like, share, subscribe. Use the promo code below. It's where you get everybody's premium plays, picks and parlays, .net over at the website. Padres and the Giants, total seven and a half. Seen six and a half. It's climbed to seven. Now there's some seven and a halves. Thoughts on this, Terry Edelman? Yeah, we've got quite the pitching matchup here. Uh, for this game. Uh, Joe Musgrove is on the mound for the Padres uh, and coming off his last game against this San Francisco Giants team. Uh, he gave up eight hits, six earned runs over 4.1 innings. Did have seven strikeouts and only one walk, but he got hit. Uh, and he has been getting hit recently. Uh, and then on the other side, you've got Mason Black, uh, who most recent game was also against this Padres team. 4.2 innings, six hits, four and runs. He's 0-3 with a 7.50 ERA on the season. It has not gone well for him. Um, yes, I get it. The Giants may not have the strongest offense in baseball. Um, that's saying a lot. But uh, this Padres team does have a, an explosive offense. And these two pitchers are both struggling. So give me the over here. Over, over seven, seven and a half. Yeah, over seven and a half from Terry Edelman. 
Padres and the Giants Saturday baseball action. We're going to go uh, Rangers and the Mariners. Totals at six and a half. Uh, Mariners slight favorite at home. Nick Earl, where are you going with this one? Yeah, uh, looking at this matchup, we get the, I guess, long-awaited return of Max Scherzer. He last pitched on July 30th. Uh, I feel like he's had two or three stints on the I.L. this year, uh, and and, it, and he's thrown all 39 and the third innings pitched with the Rangers uh, so far this season, and he's been okay. I saw this six-and-a-half total. It, this is an over spot for me here. I don't uh, – Logan Gilbert's fine. But we're asking this game, we're, we're saying these two teams can't put up three runs each in this spot. And these are two teams where I'm going to I'm gonna play against the bias that we've seen so far this year, and that is that these two teams can't hit. Recently, they can. Against right-handed right. pitching, both these teams are above average the last 30 days. The Mariners are putting up 111 WRC+, plus, which is ninth in baseball, and the Rangers 103, which is 13th. I think this hockey total is way too low in this spot. I think we get at least three to three in this game because – when we look at it from a different perspective, yeah, they can get their runs against Max Scherzer, the uh, Seattle Mariners. But even if they don't, how far is Max Scherzer going into this game? Right. With maybe a pitch count limit here. Four oh, innings, yes. maybe five. And then we get another three, four innings of Ranger bullpen. You you trust <laughs> Ranger bullpen for under six and a half? I don't. And the Mariners bullpens regressed a little bit as of late as well. They've not been particularly good either. And maybe Logan Gilbert goes and – gives you six innings in this game. But even then, you're giving me a couple innings of bullpens at the end of the game that I don't trust. Max Scherzer, who I don't trust off of another injury, who mm -hmm. is uh, for a 40-year-old pitcher. So that's something that is kind of alarming as well. Um, so over six and a half for me. And I can only look Mariners in the spot maybe on a minus one line because I do see a, little, see a little bit of variance in this game with it being a potential over. So I lean Mariners, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the over here. Over six and a half from uh, Nick Earl, Rangers, and the Mariners. I agree. Uh, Scherzer, you know, he's probably on a pitch count. You know, even if he does great, like uh, that Rangers bullpen, no said, you know, kind of situation. I see sevens out here. Six and a half, minus 110 to minus 120. But sevens, you can get at even money, maybe plus 105. Shop your lines, folks. Shop yes. your lines. We tell you this all the time. Can't tell you it enough. I get it tattooed on your forearm so you can't mess it up. Uh, shop your lines, like, share, subscribe, get that tattooed on the other forearm. Promo code LENNY20 saves you 20% off your entire purchase, picksandparlays.net. Get both of these premium handicappers, exclusive plays, uh, and everything else, subscription packages at the website. Give you a quick recap. Nick's like, Nick likes the Nats minus one and his boy, Patrick Corbin. <laughs> and he also oh likes, I know. He also likes the Rangers and the Mariners over six and a half. Terry likes the Dodgers at plus money and the Padres and the uh, Giants over seven and a half. Appreciate everybody stepping by. As always, good luck unless you're against us. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Patrick Corbin for the win.